Sat Nam Aloha. So how are you feeling? Can you believe we're almost in Virgo season? So this full moon on August 22nd, it's been a couple days, <clears throat> really marks the tail end of an old self for humanity. So an old way of being is dying. And collectively, we're being birthed. So what's being birthed? The Christ, the Christ consciousness, the Christ inside you, the Christ inside me. And this is the divine child. It's the divine energy that it's a product of the integration of our light and shadow. So free from all limitations, free from ego, free from separation, free from ancestral karma. It's our original state of innocence, right? It's back to the garden. It's to become the embodiment of unconditional love. And again, this is just our natural state. So is this going to happen on Sunday, like a snap? No, it's the beginning of a process. So this is the desire or the yearning of the collective soul of humanity that was seeded a long time ago from the beginning of time, that, that, that this birth take place at this time that we're in right now. And this is what we committed to before we incarnate it, right, to have this experience. So through the mental awareness system that I talk about in my videos and my programs and webinars, right, the mental awareness system that we've been in for thousands of years, this means the, how we experience life is through the mind, right? We've extended ourselves as far as we can go into the external world, right? The mind extends. And now we're being called into a whole brand new awareness system, a new way of experiencing life. This is the solar plexus awareness system that I talk about in the 2027 webinar over six hours long, right? or spirit awareness, or the self-sensory system. So are all the same things. So it's like watching a movie. You know when you're watching a movie in quick time, you're coming to the end? Well, we can rewind quickly back to the origin. And that's what's going on. All of our ancestral memories are sur surfacing from deep within the collective unconscious and then projected out on the screen of life so that we can integrate the shadow, so that we can integrate the fears and the sadness and the angers of our ancestors. So it's really a reversal of the pathway of awareness. And the journey is to go back inside to the point of creation that's also inside you. Remember, it's a hologram. You're a hologram of the universe. So what are the heavenly bodies saying? It's time to commit, right? That's the gift of the 29. The sun is in the 29th gate of perseverance. This is 70% of the neutrinos come from the sun. So it would behoove us to look at the sun, right? So with every commitment comes a death, right? You commit to this person, it means you can't be with that person. If you commit to this vocation, it means you can't be in that vocation. If you commit to living in this town or country, you can't live in that town or country. So whatever is not chosen dies, right? Because you're not you're choosing not to have that experience, right? You're committing to have this experience. So, and if we don't commit our energy gets scattered, and that's the shadow of half-heartedness that I'll talk about in the, uh, later in the video. So with every birth comes a death, comes a loss, and maybe you yourself are feeling this death inside you, right? Feeling emptier and emptier day by day. The ancients told us all about this, that in the Aquarian age, as we transition into the Aquarian age, people will start to feel emptier and emptier. So, you know, and it's also showing us where our weak point is, or our weak points, right? This is our deepest, darkest fears that are being shown to us that we've 
inherited from our ancestors and they haven't been yet integrated into the light, right? So really we're being shown our weak points right now too, what we need to work on, right? That which has been denied and repressed, right? It's coming up now into the surface right? so that we can integrate it into the light. So birthing is a painful process. And who's in pain? Well, your ego is in pain. Our ego is in pain right now, right? We're suffering because we're resisting. The ego is resisting this birth process. And to suffer is to believe that the world is happening to you. And the truth is the world is happening through you. Right? The root or the cause of suffering is really coming from inside you. So what can you do right now right, with this information? Well, look at human birth. Right? The mothers who do the best are the ones that relax and surrender into the experience. Right? So what's the opposite of relaxing is resisting. And what does resisting look like? Well, not trusting this process that we're in right now, not trusting evolution, not trusting the divine. So using your mind to make your decisions in life, giving your authority over to someone wearing a white lab coat with a bunch of letters behind their name, offering you a plate of cookies, right? That promises to take all these fears away, right? Or reacting to your emotional state, whatever it is in the moment. That's resistance. Just a few examples. So we have to remember that chaos precedes birth. Chaos precedes all birth. And chaos can make us feel disoriented. It can make us feel unstable. There's nothing to cling to, right? It can bring up a lot of insecurity. And also changes all around us right now. This is chaos. Right? So the anger can come up, right? Why is this happening? Looking for someone or something out there to blame in the external world. Depressed and hopeless, right? Depression or anger turned inward. That's depression, right? So we're all looking outside of ourselves. This is the mental awareness system. Look outside yourself for answers and things are completely shifting for the Aquarian age. It's time to look inside. Right? A lot of fear can come up. Will I survive this? What will happen to me in the future? You can see the desperation out in the world. They're looking to the material world to take away this fear of the future. There's a lot of uncertainty right now. There's fear of death. Right? So people are like, invest. I got to invest in crypto. I got to invest in silver and gold. But I have all my food supplies. It'll be locked and loaded with ammo. Right? This is trying to control your feelings that are coming from, up, from inside of you by controlling the images out on the screen. It won't work. Right? Your true security is found within. You're not going to find it out there in the external world. So when will people finally stop and look within? How bad does it have to get for people to turn away from the material world and finally go within. How dark does it have to get? Right? Well, that's all yet to be seen. This is all part of our awakening. So whatever we need is going to show up in the external world. Right? But it's all about the purpose of it is to get us to go back inside. So this time is about commitment. Right? We're meant to commit. It's right there in the word. So are you going to commit to this experience, right? This crazy roller coaster ride. Are you going to commit to get on the ride, right? The next couple of years of turbulence, right? As we're birthed into the new. And you may say, well, Michael, I don't have a choice, right? I'm trapped on this planet. I can't get off, right? Even if I get off through physical death, I'll be right back here again. Well, I would say to you, that's victim talking. Right? That's not you talking, the great soul, the eternal soul. That's the victim talking. And how do you know you're a victim? When you believe you have no choice and that life is happening to you. 
So the shadow of the 29 is called half-heartedness. And this means there's no commitment, right? It's the opposite of commitment. Half-heartedness is, well, I'm just going to indulge in my addictions until the storm plays out. Like, wake me up when it's over. Half-heartedness is to become a victim of the fates. Well, I've got no power. I've got no choice. Right? Whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Half-heartedness is waiting for a savior to uh, do all the work for you. And the thing is, it's not. You have to do it for yourself. Nobody can do this for you. It's your awakening. This is your experience of awakening, which is unique for each person. Right? Half-heartedness means that you're not going to show up to your life. You'll just be there in body only. Half-heartedness is to live only in the mind. And you might as well be dead already, right, without the commitment to be here, right? the commitment to have our soul fully present in this moment. We're just zombies, right? And this is what the parasitic consciousness wants for humanity, to be trapped in the mind, keeping us locked in this mental awareness system when evolution is calling us. Right? To go deeper into the solar plexus awareness system, the spirit awareness. Right? And the mind, like I said in my other video, this is their home turf. That's their home turf. So you're not going to win the game of life living in the mind. So it's time to let go. Right? Commit to growth. Commit to your evolution. Commit to your awakening. So the gift of commitment is to commit to persevere. This is the gate of perseverance. So whatever happens, whatever's coming at me, I'm going to be fully here. That's my commitment. Whatever emotions come up for me, I'm going to commit to own them. Right? I'm not going to project them out. Whereas I'm going to own them. I'm going to feel them. I'm going to integrate them. I'm going to do my work. I'm committed to doing my work. Right? If fear of death from my ancestors is moving through my emotional body, I will feel it. I will commit to my divinity. And remember, there's only physical death. There's no, the soul can't die. The soul is never born. The soul will never die. So it's like if you're in a movie theater and somebody shoots a gun at the camera, right? Shoots a gun at the camera and it's pointing in the screen. Will it kill you? No, because you're, it's a movie, right? It's just images on the screen. So nothing can harm you. This is what you have to get. Nothing can harm the eternal soul that you are, right? Physical death, that's it. But it doesn't mean you die, right? You go on. So now here's the real choice, right? The divine or the material world. What are you going to choose? Are you going to commit to love or are you going to commit to fear, right? So it's ta really time to get off the fence and make your choice. Right? The material world is becoming more and more uncertain, more le less and less appeal for most people. Right? It's an easy choice. Right? No exit doors. Right? Plan B, plan C, plan D. Commitment is like, this is my choice. And once you make the choice, then a lot of the wasted energy of duality, should I do this, should I do that, that disappears. Right? That's such a waste of energy. A lot of people in your life may disappear, right? Your environment may change, right? For the better, though, because it will be more aligned with your commitment. You'll attract people who are making the same commitment as you. But it's your commitment that's going to pull you through these tumultuous times that are coming. It's your commitment. It's an energetic, right? So really, it's a no-brainer. Right. So remember, I was just thinking of this, um, the story of the golden goose. You know, the golden goose who produces the golden eggs. Well, are you going to choose the golden egg? I'll just take this golden egg. Or do you choose the golden goose where all the eggs are coming from? Right. So the divine created the material world, not the other way around. The divine created you, not the other way around. So what are you afraid of, right? The shadow of half-heartedness is about postponement, postponing, making the choice, right? 
making the commitment. And the thing is, you already made the commitment, <laughs> right? Before you incarnate it, you commit it to this experience. You've already made the choice. You just have to catch up with that. So trust where the divine is leading you. Commit to this moment only. That's all you can do. I'm going to commit to have my full energy in this present moment, right? We don't know. You can't commit to the future because we don't know what's going to happen in the future. None of us do, right? It's about committing to this experience. Whatever happens, happens, but I'm committed to be here, right? So just keep that in mind, this full moon. And the full moon will illuminate all those areas in your life where you're not committed. So take note of what is happening in your life. Take note of what people are saying to you, right? Deep in meditation, listening to your own intuition. You'll get lots of information where you need to, oh, I need to make a commitment, right? I've got one foot here. i got one foot over there. Right? And just make the commitment and trust your decision. So a few announcements. Chiron in the mother wound. It turned out to be well over six hours, right? So it's got six, six hours of content plus two powerful Kundalini Yoga meditations, and that's available. And if you're feeling insecure in the material world, right, this series will really, really help you because the mother wound is an ancient wound that's followed, like gone down the ancestral line, right? So this is a time for you to say, you know what? It stops with me. I'm going to integrate this uh, mother wound. So Chiron's purpose, according to uh, the discovery chart, is to liberate us from the ancient shadow of codependence, right? So not being able to let go of people and things, needy or too independent. Like, I can't count on anybody but myself. So codependence isn't uh, just psychological. It's a spiritual wound. And this, this uh, shadow of codependence, the 19th gate, it's mutating for the Aquarian age. And it was in my 2021 predictions webinar that this is mutating. So it's no coincidence that Chiron is coming up into the field right now and it's really helping us um, move into the Aquarian age because Chiron is just a visitor to the solar system. So there's a lot to explore there, lots of practical content too, tools that you can use and the meditations are, are amazing, right? Uh, so it's very relevant to the times we're in right now. So uh, if you feel called, if you know that you've got issues with women, issues with your mother, please, please um, download this webinar. And also I'll be presenting the Father Wound series, and that's going to start in September. So I'm going to be posting more information on my website about that this week. Okay, and I'll announce it in my next video too. And so we're evolving through the emotional body. There's no way around it. It's not about this anymore. It's not about our mind, right? All this, all the juice to where we want to be is through the emotional body, and that's the inner child. And the inner child ascends, the wounded inner child ascends into the divine child that I spoke about. And this is how we enter into the age of Aquarius. So it's really time to commit, speaking of commitment, committing to do this emotional work. So you can take my six-week program my inner child program, or you can dip your toe in, right, with the Mother Wound webinar series, okay? And also I've, I have recorded readings and all the links can be found below. And please leave your comments, right? And I just want to thank everybody that supported me in this work. I really, really appreciate it. And I know I don't say it enough, okay? But know that you're in my prayers every morning, okay? So commit to take care of yourself, commit to travel light, be the light, spread the light, because people really need you right now. Your family, your community, everybody you come in contact, you've got to be the light for them. Okay? So I'll see you next video. Sat Namaloha. Aloha.